Let me tell you a story, a real life story about a company that made a loss of 48 crore rupees on Forex. The funny thing is, the company was not doing any speculation or any dangerous derivatives transactions. It was in fact following all the so-called rules of conservative forex hedging. Then how come it had a loss? So the company had imports and exports of nearly $3 billion each between April 2013 and October 2019. It bought dollars for imports at an average rate of 65.20 per dollar and sold its export dollars at 65.05, incurring a loss of 15 paise per dollar. This seemingly small loss of 15 paise amounted to a total loss of 48 crore rupees. All this because the company had a so-called natural hedge and did not do anything to manage its forex risk in line with the commonly accepted theory of natural hedge. Contrast this with a much smaller company. This company had imports and exports of nearly four and a half million dollars each between October 20 and March 21. It bought import dollars at an average rate of 73.26 per dollar and sold export dollars at 73.71, making a profit of 45 paise per dollar, amounting to a total profit of rupees 20 lakh over the period. How come this small company made a profit? Now the thing is that it junked the so-called theory of natural hedge and managed its imports and exports separately. Now, a word about natural hedge. Many companies swear by it, but the fact is it is a total myth. A natural hedge does not exist. For a natural hedge to exist, the import amount should be exactly equal to the export amount. Both should fall due on the same date and both should also fall due in the same bank. As we can see, it is impossible for all three conditions to be met simultaneously. And even if a perfect natural hedge were to exist, the bank's buy-sell spread would work against the company giving it a loss. Local Lobat. Rather, companies with both imports and exports might want to look at gross hedging or hedging imports and exports separately because it makes more business sense, it reduces losses and is therefore more profitable. Say there's a small ration shopkeeper who buys and sells rice the whole day. We could say that he has a natural hedge in the rice that he buys and sells. Does he not try to make a profit margin between the rate at which he buys and the rate at which he sells? If a simple ration shopkeeper can work on this very basic business premise, surely the sophisticated forex hedger can also do it. And gross hedging actually works. In fact, over the last 15 years, the Kshitij hedging method has earned an average profit of 41 paise per dollar between the buying rate for imports and the selling rate for exports. A profit that goes straight to the bottom line. This has been done by hedging both legs separately. So if you have both imports and exports, don't leave money on the table. Unlock value through gross hedging. To know more, visit kshitish.com slash hedging or write to us at info at kshitish.com. And yes, please do like, comment, share this video and subscribe to our channel. Thank you.